Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ash and Leather and welcome back to day two of Dad's Week. We got Father's Day coming up in just under a couple of weeks. I'm really excited to show you some brand new private stock wallets that we're releasing right now. But before we get to that, I wanted to show you our packaging. So every wallet that we ship out gets shipped in a wax stamp box. And on the inside of the box, we have our little Ashland hang tag and a cloth bag that holds a wallet. And the reason I selected this particular wallet to show you was not only is it just an incredible incredible piece of natural shell cordovan, but this one has also been personalized for WEP. So WEP, thank you so much for picking this up. And everybody else that has picked up something this week for Dad's Week, thank you guys so much for your support. And let's get into our private stock items. The first item I wanted to show you is a Chicago comb with a black shell cordovan leather sheath. So these combs are made right here in Chicago. They don't make a whole lot of the metal combs anymore. And in particular, this black finish, this is something they only are offering to us at the moment. It's a really nice sort of matte black finish, almost like a gunmetal finish. So we decided to pair this metal comb with a black shell cordovan sheath. We chose some black stitching as well as some black hand stained edges to give it a really stealthed out look. And I should add the black shell cordovan that we use for these sheaths are very, very nice. Check out how glassy and smooth and shiny this particular piece of shell cordovan is. And the next item I wanted to show you is actually a pair of items. Yesterday we released a Cobalt Blue Dublin Johnny the Fox with a yellow Latigo interior. Today we've got some alternating card holders for the inside of this Cobalt Blue Dublin Johnny the Fox. So on the exterior, that Dublin leather that we've come to know and love, really nice grain character exceptional depth of color on the cobalt blue dublin so if i flex this leather i can reveal a little bit more of these aqua blue undertones and then we added a contrasting yellow stitch to the exterior of this wallet and that all sort of hints at this color combination on the inside i'm really enjoying this alternating look with the yellow on top of blue on top of yellow on top of blue and we did the inverse of that as well so we've got blue on top of yellow for this guy and this turns out really well i really enjoy looking at the edges here it sort of has this checkerboard look which I definitely enjoy. So we've actually made only a couple of each of these. And we have another special Johnny the Fox here in a leather that is a fan favorite. This is the rare cigar shell cordovan. And if you're familiar with the color number eight shell cordovan, this is a darker and less burgundy version of that. This is more of a straight up brown shade. So cigar shell cordovan, very rare. I think this is actually an Alden exclusive color. And every now and then, Horween gets some shells that are just a little bit too small to make a pair of Alden's footwear from. And they offer them to us as to not uh, waste the leather. And this is a really, really great piece of cigar shell cordovan. Just check out that bright, shiny luster. This is exactly what you want to see in a piece of shell. This is very much a mirror-like shine to it. And we decided to pair this cigar shell cordovan with a natural latigo on the interior. And we've noticed that when we add cream stitching to most wallets, it sort of pairs very nicely as a contrast. And we were thinking about this cream stitching when we went with the natural interior. So I think this pairs very nicely with the cigar on the outside. And I have another exceptional piece of cigar shell cordovan, but we made some Tony the Ants out of it. Take a look at this really nice, what I would call a true brown shade. Very much a dark brown. In certain angles, it gets a little lighter. In other angles, a little bit darker. But take a look. Just how bright and shiny this is. It's exactly what you want to see in a piece of shell. On the inside, we also made some card holders out of that same cigar shell cordovan. And we tried to cut the ink stamp into a nice visible spot into the center. Here's another great color combination of a shell cordovan wallet. This is our Fat Herbie. So we've got some marbled blue shell cordovan on the exterior of this wallet sitting on top of another rare color. This is magenta shell cordovan. It's slightly lighter than the ultraviolet, a little bit more pink in color. And we can see a little bit more of that on the inside. We've got more magenta shell cordovan on the interior. I wanted to show off a little bit about this marbled blue shell cordovan. Yesterday we launched some marbled black shell cordovan items. The marble blue is pretty similar to the marble black, but we definitely get more of these aqua blue tones. You do see a lot of the same sort of green look in the marbled black and even some of the orange in the marble black, but on the marble blue, definitely more aqua. See this vivid sort of aqua blue, baby blue kind of color? It's a very, very nice shade. And here's another really great private stock wallet. This is a Johnny the Fox in some raw shell cordovan, but this is the raw ultraviolet shell cordovan. Raw ultraviolet is kind of similar in color to the magenta shell cordovan, and that's because it hasn't been polished in and filled in just yet. 
Definitely has more of a matte look to it. Before Horween polishes in the shells, they tend to be a little bit lighter in color, which is why this raw ultraviolet looks a little bit more magenta. Definitely has a nice little subtle sheen to it, but is nowhere near as bright and shiny as a normal piece of shell cordovan. Take a look at the inside. This is where it gets extra special. We've got raw ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of some violet lizard shell cordovan in the center. This turned out really nicely. And last but not least, I wanted to save this one uh, for the end here. This might be one of my favorite wallets we've ever done. This is Western Whiskey Shell Cordovan on the Giant of the Fox. And when they press the texture into the whiskey shells, or in fact, any shells, the color tends to get a little bit darker. So in this particular piece of Western whiskey, I notice it's a little bit more brown and dark than what we normally see in the whiskey shell cordovan. And again, I think that's because pressing the texture in here sort of changes the color a slight amount. Take a look at the inside of this one. Really, really rare and tough for us to get the naturally thin pieces of shell that we require for the inside of the giant of the fox. If we don't pick naturally thin pieces of shell cordovan, this wallet gets roughly twice as thick. And as you can see here, it's about the perfect thickness with these pieces of Western whiskey on the inside. So thanks again for checking out everything in the video today. This is one of my favorite wallets uh, that we've ever done. And I'll be back again tomorrow with day three of Dad's Week. We've got more great stuff coming. Let me know if you've picked up anything for Dad's Week this week. If you want to get something personalized, we can do that as well. And if you don't see that option on the website, definitely send us an email. We can help you out. So until next time, I hope you have a good one and take care.